Oh, we do have fun beside the seaside. Thank you very much for joining me in the studio. It is roasting hot. Look at the sweat coming off me. Things I do for YouTube. Anyway, let's have a look at the palette and let's see what type of painting we're going to be doing today as he checks his sound. <laughs> hey, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. It's time to learn with our friend Clive. So grab your brush, have a great time. And yeah, I've got. Uh, I've been asked a few questions dry. actually. What's the difference between process blue and ultramarine blue? Okay, so we got some ultramarine blue and we got some process blue. There we go. So I'm going to be using those two things today. Also, I thought we'll we'll change things up a little bit. I got a little bit of cardamom yellow, but there I've also got some what they call peppermint green. It's quite a quite a um, I would say quite a yellowy green. Right, so it's like a. It's a funny old green, that peppermint green. Never used it before, so I thought I'd give it a whirl. A bit of white, a bit of burnt umber, and that's it. And I've got myself a nice big glass of squash. And um, I don't know what I'm going to paint today. <laughs> I'm just thinking about it. Now, as I'm talking to you, I'm thinking about what can I paint with those colours? Hmm. I've got an idea. Okay, so let me think. Let's go... Let's go, let's go. Let's get my, where's my pencil gone? Where's it gone? I don't know. There it is. Let's put a, let's put a, look at that. My nib is broken. No. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Have I got another pencil? Okay, we'll just use this one. This is a white pencil. Well, that works. Just, just works. <laughs> just a, a rough idea anyway it doesn't really matter you know how i roll so let's have a go at this one now let's get some white on our brush this is just pure titanium white let's get a little bit of process blue process blue let's put that in the sky oh that's quite a nice blue that's quite a nice blue for the sky it is so what can I say about this blue? Well, it's quite a strong blue. I'm going to put a bit more white in there because I was a bit over enthusiastic there. I need some water. I need some water. I'm just using plain tap water. There we go. That's a little bit contaminated, but it's fine. It's okay. Let's just put a bit of water. It's so hot in this studio today. And that's unusual for Wales. Normally it's raining and it's horrible and dear, 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 I don't know. It's just horrible, basically. And this paint is drying so fast on my board. Just need a little bit of, of that, a little bit more of this blue. It doesn't matter if it dries a little bit quick. It doesn't matter. There we go. Let's put a little bit of that in there. Let's get this blue. I want a nice blue sky that's quite a nice blue actually isn't it that's, that's a lush blue that really is a lovely blue today I should use process blue more often I think I'm just painting on a bit of cardboard well, why not because I will chuck most of these paintings away I just paint these basically for YouTube and for your pleasure and uh, I want to thank you very much for all your comments your subscriptions which are totally free by the way all you got to do is click the subscription button please in please interact with the videos um, a little comment let a subscribe or you can leave um, just a thumbs up anything like that will help my channel grow and I really want my channel to grow I've given a lot of my time over the years to YouTube and um, you know we don't get a lot we do get paid i'm not saying we don't but you the creators don't get a lot to be honest with you not unless you've got millic loads of subscribers and loads of thousands of views and all that type of stuff and i haven't got a thousands i don't get thousands of views on my channel because people just switch in and they want to learn some skills and once they've learned the skills then they tend to go away and go on to somebody else's and try to be this master artists which which are brilliant that's what i want you to do this is exactly what I wanted to do. But in the meantime, don't forget Clive. Yes, Clive is here to help paint away that stress of everyday life. And that's all I ask is a, a little bit of help getting my channel going. 
and maintaining my channel, I should say, not getting it going. It's, it's doing quite well, actually. A little bit of cloud in the sky. Let's just do these wispy clouds today. Just wispy, wispy, wispy. Let the brush just flick on the surface the, of the painting like that. Don't worry too much about detail. I don't. This is just painting the stress away. Rather than painting to sell, you can learn a lot of things by taking your time and just having fun and enjoying the painting. You don't need to be worrying about is this going to sell, is that going to sell. I don't worry about is this video going to do this and is this video going to go viral. I don't do that. I just that's have fun and I just like being here with you as I do that. And that's the thing. Right, let's get some ultramarine blue. Let's get some ultramarine blue and a little bit of yellow. A bit of yellow, a bit of white. I was just thinking of Molly then, actually. I don't know. Molly's out there barking. So the ultramarine blue is a little bit more, I would say, it looks like violety. Ultramarine blue tends to be a little bit of violety. It's a bit more red-based, biased. I'm trying to get this line straight. Deep breath. If if I was a little if I was if I didn't dry so much I could I would have done really well then. Deep breath. I'll do. Use some masking tape. Or painters tape. Use some painters tape. Don't do what I do. I just wanna do that. I'll chuck some I'm gonna chuck some um white over that in a second just to break them break that down. There we are. Let's get some more of this ultramarine blue. Let's darken that up a bit. There we are. Just go in with some ultramarine blue. It's just like that. Shh. Now, I didn't intend to do in a seascape today, but it looks as if that's going to happen. So, right. Let's get a little bit of this green in. Let's, let's get a little bit of this green. Let's put some whack. Let's whack some green in there. Let's whack some green in there. That does that look that looks sea like, doesn't it? I think so. I think that looks a little bit sea like. Let's get a little bit of burned ember and a little bit of that blue. You can see I mix that. It's a nice dark colour. Let's get a line there like that. Let's get this line coming across there. quite like that. It's a nice dark colour. quite like that. Right, let's get a little bit more of this green and yellow mixed together. Pshh. Put a bit of the highlight. Maybe there's a bit of a wave crash in there. We want to put a bit more light there as well. There we are. A little bit like that. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know. Get, been, get some ultramarine blue. Is that fun? Just splash it on like this. Get in there. I'm using a lot of water in my paint today. I don't normally do that because it's quite warm. As I said, I'm sweating. I am sweating here today. I am sweating. Right, let's get this lovely blue. This process blue, and let's whack a bit of that down there. A bit more white in there, a bit more white. Let's whack some of that down there, like this. You can see there's a ridge in my canvas, but it's not a canvas, is it? It's a bit of um, cardboard. There we go. Why not? Paint on whatever you want to paint on. Let's just get a little bit of this green colour. I'm going to add a little bit of blue, a little bit of yellow. Dum -dum 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 -dum. Let's get a bit of that colour coming in there, like this. Bit a bit of that there, like that. A bit like that. We need a bit of that colour in the water. That's what this is. It's water. See how quick my paint is drying you. Let's get a bit of blue and a bit of white. A little bit of green left on that brush. Mix it in all in like this. Chuck it on. Chuck it on. Let's get some more white and blue. 
this lightness up down there. Boom, 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 boom. Easy squeezy, lemon peasy. That's what they say, don't they? If you're liking, please subscribe. If you like, there used to be an advert, didn't there, uh, for chocolate biscuits. If you like a lot of chocolate on your biscuit, join our club. <laughs> club biscuits, yes, I remember them when I was a child. Chuck that on there, chuck it in. Let's get a bit of paint on this canvas. Chuck it in like that. What a whoa! We've got a we've got a bit of a seascape going on. We have got a bit of a seascape going on. Let's just wash my brush. There we go. Back into this lovely white and blue. Right, I've got to be careful what I'm going to do now. I want to bring a bit of. I want to bring a bit of light in there. That's like that. I also want to bring a bit of light in there. I tell you what I'm going to do. Get a bit of burnt ember. Get this grey type of colour. I'm just going to go. I want to put a wave splashing there. I'll have to come down there. Let's get a little bit of white. This is just a shadow colour. I made it a little bit whiter because I want to see where I'm going with it. So that's going to come down there like that. Let's put in the shadow colour in. Get a bit of colour in there. Uh, that's about what I want to do. Yeah. Hmm. Can you see and understand what I'm trying to what I'm trying to do? Right. Let's get some blue, some white. I paint like this. I don't know how long these paintings take sometimes. I'm trying to use these different blues. crashing around and A lovely colour in our water. Right, let's get it with this ultramarine blue. Ultramarine blue and burned ember tend to make a bit of a black colour. I'm just going to put a bit of. Shadow just under these. Whoops. Ooh. 
Do you and me, I picked up a bit too much then. Gotta be careful sometimes, haven't you? Well, we do have fun. I love making paintings up like this, and I don't know what I'm going to do from one day to the next sometimes. And um, sometimes things work out, sometimes they don't work out. Sometimes things just go, oh well. When you're making videos like this, you gotta, you just gotta go, excuse the pun, you gotta go with the flow. You gotta go with the waves. You gotta go with the flow. And, you know, I make mistake. And I said, well, I'm not gonna admit to that, but I made mistakes. But sometimes that's what life's all about. Sometimes it's all about making mistakes and being able to adjust as you paint. And sometimes, Things work out for the best. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes they do. But majority of time, majority of time, things can work out for the best, I think. I do, anyway. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Plenty of water today. Let's get a little bit of this greeny color in. Boom, 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 boom. Painting away the stress of everyday life. That's what it's all about. Having fun, sitting here in the studio, and just having fun and just relaxing. And that's what I come out in the studio for. Originally, um, I used to, I've, I've done a lot of pet portraits and a lot of commissions and things like that. I just got to check my cameras are all right. Is everything recording? I hope they are. Bum 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 bum. Yeah, but originally, um, as I said, I, I I painted on and off most of my life, but I've been suffering really badly with anxiety, I've had depression over the years, and art has always enabled me to just come out, spend some time, some some time with myself, actually in my own little world, which is important sometimes. I think that's important that we we do something whether it's painting or crocheting or knitting or needlepoint or whatever 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 you do keeping fit even you know going on a, on a treadmill or something whatever you do whatever keeps you going whatever keeps you young and active i think that's important i think that is important i think we need to i need to embrace sometimes not necessarily what you're painting this doesn't mean nothing. This is just nothing. It's the process behind the nothing that we need to embrace. I think that is very, very, very important. I think that is very, very important that we need to just embrace what we do and and in, and, and, and like and enjoy that process. Because at the end of the day, life's like a painting, isn't it? You know, we get up in the morning, we, we've got a rough idea of what we're going to do, but never it never works out that way. We always end up seem to be doing more things that we didn't plan on doing. And painting a seascape sometimes is, is like that. And I, and I love just coming in and just seeing what my brush will do. Sometimes it works, as I said, sometimes it doesn't work, but I don't care, to be honest. I don't mind. Whatever happens, happens. That's how we look at it. Whatever happens sometimes just happens. 
and that's what it's all about. Let's get some water. This is, I love painting on cardboard because I can use so much water in my paint. Just, just I don't know. Just make marks like this. We don't know what the water, how would what how would what waves and that move. You can't, you can't, you can't represent that hundred percent, can you? We just, they're just little tiny flow marks like that. Shh. How are we doing? How are we doing? How are we doing in the world of Clive? I don't know. <laughs> the world of Clive? Dear me. Let's get some really wet paint now, man. Just. I think the trouble is, I got today is my paint is drying so fast. Okay, enough of that. Let's get some white paint now. A sort of white paint. What a rough sea this is. What a rough looking sea today. Does this represent the mood I'm in? I don't know. Does it? Do you think it does? Maybe, maybe I'm in a stormy head. Maybe my mind is quite stormy today. I don't know. Is it really? We don't know, do we? That's what I love about art. Some art will represent how you feel. And it should. That's what art should do. Quite foamy. I can imagine the sea just whoosh and down like that. Then. Chunks of foam here and there like that.
some more white just emphasizing some white now Bit of a stormy sea today. Bit of a stormy sea today. And there's nothing wrong with a stormy sea. It really isn't. And just keep doing this as much as you want. Just put some shadows in and some more white bit more white bits and psh, who knows? Who knows what you want to do? Who knows what you want to do? Put a couple of seagulls in. Loads of them today. Just just about see some of them. Oh, they're so distant. They're so distant. A bit of detail on the top of the waves. You want to just like like little tiny splashes, maybe. It's just crashing over like that. There we go. I don't know. Just come into the studio, have a bit of fun, enjoy yourself. And why not? That's what art's all about. I'm all about that. I don't like to sit here and spend hours and hours and hours on paintings. Sometimes I just want to come in and just paint just because I want to paint. Not for any other reason. Not to sell, not to do this type of stuff, not to even to make YouTube videos. Sometimes I just want to just come in and paint. But majority of the time I'll do that and I'll just put the sweet camera on and I'll talk to you. Because it's nothing nicer than having a bit of company when I'm actually painting. And I want to thank you very much for joining me today in the studio and um, as I said having a bit of fun and seeing what can happen when you just sit down with a bit of paint, have a bit of fun and enjoy the process of painting for painting's sake and just having a bit of fun. There you go. Nothing special today, just a bit of a seascape, using a bit of food colours and having a bit of fun. Thank you very much for joining me in the studio. We'll see you next time. Bye.